Hey guys, it's Tyler again. Uh, not much longer, but still about 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, step in the mud. Okay, I'll do just that. Uh, step in the mud again for no reason. I'll do that again. And that's pretty much the intertidal zone. Oh, well, uh, okay, so here we have the intertidal zone. Uh, as the name suggests, it deals with tides and how tides affect the coastal ecology around these parts. And first we'll start out with, or er, it's divided into three zones. The super littoral, where we are now, where we have the high ground. The littoral here, and the sub littoral, like down here. Okay, so the sub zone is the area during high tide that is or that is below mean high tide that is rarely exposed like throughout the year, except during spring low tides. And then we have the littoral zone, which is the area submerged with water at mean high tide and exposed at uh, mean low tide, so it's just about the average. And then the super littoral, which is the area above high tide and that is rarely submerged except uh, during spring high tides or storms so yeah and so I guess what are tides exactly tides are the <coughs> tides are the I guess reach of the water or shoreline as uh, due to the forces of gravity as, and the centrifugal centrifugal force of uh, earth's rotation and how does this affect coastal ecology? Uh, well, you see, uh, especially at Wallops Island, there are these ghost crabs that would hide uh, in the sand, burrowing holes, and then there were snails that would uh, cling onto the grass and then crawl up every time uh, the tide rose. But Every time the tide rose, uh, the ghost crabs have to come out of their burrows and move up, up here where it's nice and dry. Whereas the snails that would uh, cling onto these grass, cling onto the grass, would have to, uh, I guess, climb up the grass in hopes that the water didn't reach them. And so it adds uh, stressors to these animals' environments, and these stressors uh, generally uh, cause or make way for adaptations for these animals to get over these stressors uh, and yeah make their life easier and so I guess it facilitates evolution in a sense and yeah that's about it